Oh, yeah, tomorrow's going to be big. You want to talk some Art Cashin? Yeah, you know what's really great here? Uh, you, we, we just caught up with Art. This is the annual predictions here. So despite the 20% run-up in the S&P 500 this year, I met with Art over at Harry's. Art's very enthusiastic about the setup for 2024. I was surprised about this. He's telling me election years with a sitting president tend to be very strong ones. It's an election year, and that tends to be good for the market as people are making projections and promises and programs um, and even the upward bias on an election year when a sitting president is running for re-election that compounds it even more the best of all those historical patterns is when an incumbent president is deciding to go for re-election and he needs a decent economy to back him up. Now, that decent economy, Art says, requires a lot more spending. And that goes to the first issue that worries him in 2024, that the flood of new treasuries and less demand for our debt, particularly overseas, may keep rates a bit higher than people think. The Chinese were big buyers of U.S. treasuries to protect their currency not to put them at a trade disadvantage. For years before that, the Japanese, too, were enormous buyers of U.S. Treasuries. So we had that demand which allowed us to run deficits and never start to choke up toward the end. But uh, the, the Chinese are having their own economic problems, so I don't know that they will have the latitude <clears throat> to buy U.S. Treasuries in the scope that they had. A second worry is what we were just talking about, stock valuations. The broad market is very pricey. Valuations are nearing extreme levels in some, but not all sectors. I asked if that would be an issue in January when some people who had poured cash into money market funds in 2023 might be tempted to come back into stocks at very high prices. Oh, of course it is. And, and, and that's the problem. You know, the, the, the fear of missing out, the idea the train is leaving the station, the idea I've got to get on board. And so you begin to ignore multiples and you pay up, and that's where bubbles come from. People go in and say, uh, uh, yeah, but the train is leaving the station. And, Am I paying a high premium? Yeah. But I've got to get on board before that train is gone. And that is a risk. My full interview with Art is going to be up on CNBC Pro later today. Art also talks about another worry, the looming commercial real estate problems he thinks are still going to be there for banks in 2024. And he offers a surprisingly strong endorsement of the benefits of artificial intelligence for the economy in 2024. This from a guy who still uses a flip phone, who still <laughs> writes his morning newsletter by hand and calls into his secretary. Very interesting observations on artificial I intelligence and what it's going to do for the economy. I'm so so glad you got to that.